CataractCoach.com. Faco Carousel spins round and round. By placing the probe at the edge of the nucleus, it spins easily. Let me show you the case here. So routine cataract case, not too dense. There's an insertion and making of a paracentesis and injecting a little viscoelastic. Here comes the other hand with the keratome, making an incision there and entering the anterior chamber. Now, this is not a very dense nucleus, so not a lot of nuclear density here, and that's going to make this carousel technique even easier. So put some more viscoelastic in. Let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, our teaching website. Like, how many people do I meet in person? I say, oh, thanks for watching my videos, but have you checked out the website? No, I never heard of it. What? I say cataractcoach.com at the beginning of every single video. You got to check it out. Follow me on Insta. Check out our podcast. You get the idea. Now, let's get the rexes done. Now, for this carousel technique, we want to get a nice, generous rexus done here. It looks like about a 5 millimeter rexus. Beautifully done here. Obviously, a very experienced surgeon. There you go. Clean-looking rexus. I like it. And some hydro dissection here. That's key. So if the nucleus is, has to be freed up from the capsular bag in order for it to rotate. There's a little hydro delineation. You can see there's a golden ring of hydro delineation separating out that endonucleus. A little more viscoelastic going in here. And covering the corny too, looks like HPMC, hydroxypropylmethylcellulose. Here comes the phaco probe. Now going in here, look at the angle of the probe now. Here, look how it's done. So cleaning this up here a bit. Now you want to put the vacuum here to the side. And therefore, this thing will just rotate. Watch, look how that works. Rotate, 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 rotate. Think about it. What settings would you use here? You don't need much phaco power. That's not the setting I'm worried about. What's the flow? You want to have a good flow so things move fast? So let's say 40 cc's a minute, maybe more. You want to have a good vacuum. You need to have sufficient vacuum to get that nucleus to follow. So obviously you're going to say that's too soft of a cataract. I get it. Listen, we do all kinds of cataracts. Just want to present a new technique here for you. Now we've shown similar cases of phaco carousel before. In fact, even I have a 20-year-old video on YouTube, if you search for it, called Like Eating an Apple, How to Get the Nucleus to Rotate Like That. So this has obviously been published many times by many different people. But it's just a nice technique for you to have. A great surgeon has many different techniques in her or his toolbox. And therefore, you can tailor it to the patient. You can give the patient what you think is the best technique. Now, think about it. If you had a really dense cataract, you'd operate very differently than a very soft cataract. So a case like this, I would have probably just tilted the nucleus out of the bag and chopped her in half and then just emulsified each half very quickly. But any technique you want is going to work great. Now... Looks like a trifocal lens or multifocal lens going inside the eye. Diffractive rings that we see there. Get those haptics opened up in the caps or bag. And get the lens beautifully centered. And this patient should have a very nice outcome. So beautiful technique here. Just keep something in mind. You know, if you want to try something new, fake your carousel. You can definitely get the nucleus to spin like that. It does make the surgery um, relatively easy then. It just spins round and round and you emulsify it. Next thing you know, you're done with the case. But uh, again, leave me a comment below. Let me know how you would have done a case like this. Again, for me, relatively soft, generous rexus, tilt it out of the bag a little bit, chop it in half. If it's really soft, just bring it up in the, in the AC and just emulsify it down. You really don't need much fake power at all, if any. Here's the end of the case doing some uh, cleanup here. Polish the capsule a little bit. Oh, a little bit of hidden cortex. Even I didn't see that one. Did you catch that one? Nice looking case here. Just remember, Beverly Hills patients are going to complain about that little dot of subconscious tumor hemorrhage. Again, check out our website, cataractcoach.com. Check my Instagram out. Follow me on Insta, LinkedIn, Facebook. You know the routine. And check out that podcast.